Somalia's presidential elections are set to take place at the end of November, and among the 18 candidates vying for the presidency is Fadumo Daib. Daib is the first female in the country's history to run for president. She joins us now via Skype. Uh, Mr. Ms. Daib, thank you very much for your time this evening. Uh, you, you left Somalia for Finland 26 years ago, as I understand. Many people looking at you compete for this position would say you're more Finnish than Somali. How do you feel about this challenge of being the only woman running in that country for the top job? I don't see that as a challenge. In terms of being in the diaspora, 1.5 million Somalis are actually in the diaspora. The current administration, 70% of the current administration is comprised of people from the diaspora. So diaspora actually being inside the country and influencing politics inside the country is nothing new. It's always been um, the norm inside the country, and it's because we have majority of the of the young Somalis, you know, not been able to have had the opportunity to study, and 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 contribute uh, constructively to the government. So coming from the diaspora is actually an added advantage. It is not a disadvantage, and um, wanting to to make a difference is is also really something that. Um, is seen as, as something that is positive, particularly when it comes from the, the diaspora, because mind you, we are remitting almost 1.2 billion US dollars every year. So the diaspora is actually actively engaged in the reconstruction and the rebuilding of Somalia. Al-Shabaab is a very real force in Somalia. It's threatening to disrupt the polls. I understand you've even received death threats. Aren't you afraid of what Al-Shabaab could do? No, I'm not afraid of Al-Shabaab. I'm not afraid of any entity inside the country because I believe uh, the lives of 12 million Somalis are at you know, dire risk. They really need someone who can move the country forward, who can enable the 1.7 million Somali children who are out of school to go back to school, who can ensure that Somali mothers, uh, when they give birth, can stay alive because currently you know, we, uh, we have the third highest mortality rate maternal mortality rate, mortality rate inside inside the country. We also have uh, children who die before they reach the age of five years. I mean, the country needs a leader who can move the country constructively forward. And so I'm not bothered, I'm not worried by Al-Shabaab. I am worried about the 12 million Somalis who need uh, sound leadership inside the country. And yet you admit your chances of winning are almost non-existent. Why go ahead and compete if that's the case? The chances of any capable, qualified, competent candidate winning in the current uh, electoral or selectoral um, system inside Somalia is next to nothing because of the corrupt system. It's a system that is rigged by the current incumbent. It's a system that uh, buys and sells votes. So anyone who is actually, um, who doesn't want to be involved with corrupt uh, activities is not going to get into, into, the, into office because you have to pay to get into the office. For me, it is not about getting into Villa Somalia. It is much bigger than that. It is about social change. It is instigating social change. This is work that will take place for, you know, decades and centuries. And perhaps I will not be around to see the, the the results, but really it is work that needs to be started and we are starting it in 2016. It is not the beginning, neither is it the, the end. You know, what do you think this bold step of yours actually means for women and particularly their assigned roles right now in Somalia? It means quite a lot because as a result of my candidacy, we now have the 30% gender quota being uh, thoroughly and seriously pushed inside the country for the first time, we have young women stepping forward, qualified, competent women stepping forward in order to take their rightful place in politics. We have women who are not scared to say that I want to make a difference. So as, as a result of me stepping forward, we've had women you know, refusing to negotiate their existence and saying, we have been here, we have been informally leading the country. What we want to do is to, is to formalize that leadership. And so it's, it's, it's a positive step for women, but also the youth. We'll uh, certainly be watching your progress very closely in this election. Thank you so much for speaking to us this evening. Fadumo Daib, Somalia's first female presidential candidate.